Hey everybody, welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. My name is John and I cover full self-driving beta in the northwest suburbs of Chicago. Today's video is all about roundabouts. I'm taking it through an extremely challenging roundabout in Des Plaines, Illinois. This has five entryways. Before I get there, let me just explain this unprotected left turn. I'm coming out here and it's extremely difficult. There's a ton of traffic. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I've been documenting full self-driving beta since 2021. Elon Musk has replied to several of my tweets. He brought me into the original group of testers somewhere in 2022. And I'm very happy to say that I have the latest version of full self-driving beta, which is version 11.4.7 that we are testing here today. You can see all of this traffic coming on the left. My foot is hovering over the accelerator and the brake, ready to take over and disengage, intervene, whatever it takes to make sure that I am safe. Now, after this car comes, I think it's safe, but then there's one other car. You can see it creeps coming in. So it started to go. That was great. I mean, that was very natural. Now is the time to go. And this is the appropriate thing to do. It goes forward. Now there's a, a clear path on the right for a split second. I probably would have gone all the way, but then there's a lot of traffic and I'm hesitating here. It's awfully close. The nose of the car is jutting out a little bit in the lane. Thankfully, it's not to the point where people are having to avoid me, but now I'm worried about other cars coming. That car passes. Thankfully, everything's fine. It does open up here. You'll see right after this car, it's clear and it goes for it. It did a very nice job there. I didn't have to intervene or disengage once. All right, here we go. We have 15 tests. I'm coming in from the east entrance. I am showing the red arrow on the left just to indicate the left turn signal. You're going to see some wonky behavior with the turn signals throughout these videos. You can take a look and see that car was coming. My car started to come out and made it awkward. I did have to step on the accelerator coming through here to get all the way around. And then it was a little bit more awkward as well. It was slowing down. There's someone right behind me. I did have to intervene twice. So unfortunately, I'm gonna give that one a B minus. I am keeping track of the score here as we go throughout. So coming up here, approaching, you can see all the traffic on the left. The turn signal went on there briefly. Nobody behind us, very happy with that. Turn signal goes back on and then it turns over to the right and then back over to the left. Really strange there that it had uh, changed. And then it goes back to the left. No one behind me, no mixed signals yet comes through enters here it was very timid to get into the roundabout once it got in it committed it kept the left turn signal on and right here it got a little bit awkward it was really close to that car but it made it through so for that i'm going to give it a b all right test number three left turn left turn signal goes on that's appropriate we were lucky there no traffic coming in it just goes straight through i love that it was, felt very assertive it keeps the left turn signal on Felt very fluid, no cars coming there. If the timing is right, it does a really nice job. Here, I give it an A minus, just because it was a little bit hesitant there. Uh, coming through here, test number four, it slowed down. It kind of almost slammed on the brakes there coming up to the roundabout. It saw those cars in the roundabout and took extra caution. Now coming through, steps on the accelerator and moving forward here, a little bit slower than I would be but I'm letting it do everything. It stays really close to the center and makes it through. That again was a pretty decent roundabout test. A minus, I give that. So now we're on to test number five. Again, from same entrance, I do six tests here. Coming in, someone right behind me. So the right turns and goes on this time. I did have to intervene. It started to go, it didn't commit, and it just slowed down in its tracks. Not the best situation, was not very pleased with that. Now look at the traffic coming here on the right making me a little bit anxious, made it through, give it an A minus. All right, here we go, sixth test. Coming into the intersection, we do get lucky with the traffic. It, it asserts itself right in there. Now look at this, we are protected. The cars on the right are protecting me kind of on the inner loop. So I felt really good here. Now this was a, a, a toss up. I didn't know if it was gonna stop, slam on the brakes, but it went through, it did a really nice job there. I was happy with that. So that's a success, A. All right, this Northwest entrance created a lot of issues with me with the turn signals. Look at that, went to the left, went to the right, and then back over to the left. 
and then to the left again, kind of slowing down a little bit, uh, kind of awkward behavior, but it made it through, no one behind me, and for that, I'm gonna give it an A. Maybe an A minus, that's a little bit debatable. Coming up here, test number two, left turn signal is on, right turn signal is on. And then it goes back over to the left. Very confusing signals and slowing down there. I almost had to intervene. Uh, it was about to create an unusual situation. So for that, I'm gonna give it an A minus. Okay, test number three from the Northwest entrance. Okay, left turn signal goes on, right turn signal goes on. Coming in here. So it, it, it came in real slow. And left turn signal, right turn signal, left turn signal, really awkward behavior. I'm not a fan of that at all. And because of that, I'm gonna give it a B. Even though it made it through, no interventions or anything. Test number four. So if, if somebody is right behind you, you can get, <laughs> people can get pretty upset. Okay, now look, look at, you got a lot of cars coming here on the left. It's, it's starting to come out, right turn signals on. You can see it just kind of, it's all mixed up. It doesn't really know. Now this person actually waits for me. They're not supposed to do that in a roundabout. Right turn signal, left turn signal, right turn signal. It can't make up its mind. Yeah, this is a really unusual situation. I give that a B. I probably should have scored it lower. Now this next one, someone's behind me. This gets really, really awkward. And this person just loses it. They're like, this guy's playing games with me and they just they start they lay on their horn now look at this i'm turning right so it's letting them think that i'm actually going to turn right here and not go through the roundabout so it's starting it's hesitating i probably would have gone there now it starts to go right turn signal and then right here it cuts them off come on dude they honk at me they lay on their horn and you know i was not happy with that i, I have to give that a c just because of the awkwardness now this person, they got really upset at that apparently. Uh, that just, it wasn't appropriate for them. They start honking, they're following me, honking at me. I at one point actually rolled down the window and gave them the bird because they were being uh, way too, uh, uh, you know, annoying, not annoying, but they were being way too rude to kind of lay on their horn like that. So I'm driving manually here. I try to lose them. It takes a long time. So she, it's a, it's a girl that she's just, she's so mad. I mean, she's furious. So she sees my camera and I don't know why she doesn't understand there, there might be some sort of test going on, but I don't know, some people. All right, west entrance. This is test number one for the west entrance. So coming in here, again, we get unusual behavior. It slams on the brakes coming into the entrance of the roundabout. Uh, mixed signals on the turn signals yet again and nobody behind us thankfully so i uh you know roll with it <laughs> but it, it it does a decent job i would say it's still just kind of all over the place with the turn signals so i give that a b minus again these ratings are a little bit subjective coming in here left turn signal went on there very briefly thankfully again nobody behind me this entrance doesn't really have too many people coming into it as opposed to the east entrance. So I get lucky with not having not not um, having to interrupt or annoy anybody. You can see these motorcycles going by. Left turn signal remains on the whole time here. And then it goes to the right and then back over to the left. So again, this is probably my biggest issue with roundabouts is the turn signal behavior. And it just hesitates a little bit too much. It needs to commit and go for it. Here, I did have to step on it. It's stalled out in the middle. Not a normal situation. Most of the time, you don't need to step on the accelerator, I would say. You know, more than 50% of the time, it's okay. It, it'll make it through. And this is a pretty busy roundabout, I would say. So nobody, again, behind us. Lucky with that. And, uh, you know, that last one, I had unfortunately had to give it a C because it just uh, was too awkward and turn signal behavior was off the charts. Left turn signals on here. Again, like I said, we're lucky nobody coming up behind us. And then it commits, starts to go through. Left turn signal is still going on. Thankfully, it's not switching over to the right like it had in the past. So there was some consistency this time with the turn signal, which was good, but again, very random. I don't think that was on, on purpose at all. 
It does a nice job there. It kind of changes lanes in the middle, so I give that an A, with the exception of that lane change. And I, that lane change is appropriate. I think a human would do that anyway. Test number four in the final test here coming through. This one, we get a little bit lucky with the traffic. Not too many people. Left turn signal goes on. Coming through here. And it's, it's, it changes lanes very appropriately. Uh, I, I probably wouldn't do it if I were driving, but I, I do give that an A as well. So overall, uh, if, if you add up all these scores, we get a total overall score of a B. So that is what I rank this overall. There's still quite a bit of work to do on roundabouts. I'm looking forward to the day where I don't need to worry so much about entering these types of roundabouts. One thing I found interesting was speeding up all of this footage just so you could review everything in one shot. It's really interesting at higher speed just to see kind of how it reacts. And it just gives it a nice overview, I feel. And you can kind of uh, sit back and, and review what I saw for uh, from front to finish. So let's go ahead and, and roll that footage and then we'll close out the video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.